how important would you say writing has been both throughout your professional career as an individual and also now being a founder and a first time founder um how do you think that impacts or aids anything and everything you're working on i i think the writing that i publish out into into the world is a tip of the iceberg of the number of words i've written that's unpublished in my room research workspace in other notes that i take that i've taken over the years um i can't imagine life without writing every single day right now and the funny thing is all of us are writers you wrote for this podcast um we write emails and business proposals every day so when someone comes and tells me how do i start writing i tell them you have already been doing it your entire life yeah. adult life um the only difference is i think for me writing has impacted obviously in the form of publishing articles and books but beyond that in terms of clarifying my thinking on anything so um i think the best when i'm writing on paper so if i feel like i'm not able to figure out a certain problem the first thing i do is open my journal and start writing whatever comes to mind and vomiting all of that out there so i can make sense of it and so i think to answer your question of how has it helped one is obviously that it's you know it is a product that i've produced over the years yeah. that's been consumed by people but beyond that um it's been an incredibly helpful tool for clarity of thinking and for therapy going through a tough time um one of my coping mechanisms is to journal what's happening and it's always helped me calm down you did the whole come to the us do masters get h1 b get a job what pushed you towards quitting your job and taking that leap of faith and were there any i don't want to scare scared emotions but sort of sense of security emotions that you had to deal with at that point not before i quit before i quit the only thing that stopped me from quitting was immigration it wasn't fear of quitting or it wasn't even money because to s- give some perspective is um i had paid off my education loan within the first year of my college sorry my first year of my stint at salesforce i didn't have a family to take care of um i didn't have dependents i still don't have dependents and so in that case i was pretty privileged that i could quit without much damage to anyone around me and so um within the first month at salesforce i knew i wanted to quit but of course i stayed for a year to pay off my loan to get some experience and the second year at salesforce i was working on my first book admitted yeah so that kind of took away all of my time outside of work and once i finished and published admitted it was clear as water that i have to quit my job because my calling is to be a writer not maybe not just a writer but that is one of my callings yeah. i have to pursue it um and so the only thing that stopped me was immigration not having the right visa to work on what i wanted and so very less insecurity around money before i quit easiest decision i've taken ever in my life but but <laughs> that 6 months after i quit my job i thought a lot about money i thought a lot about financial insecurity um and i never regretted the decision never even in those 6 months once i remember coming very close to regretting and that was when i was on a bart in san francisco and this was when um third month into quitting my job wasn't making much money or any and my bank balance was only going down and down and down you think that you've set aside enough money but it's never enough there's always expenses that keep adding up um and so as i was sitting there contemplating what am i going to do in life <laughs> This girl with a Salesforce backpack comes and sits right next to me. And I'm just looking at the backpack and thinking just in this moment if I'm in her shoes I would not be going through this problem. Yeah. I'll have other problems but maybe not this specific one. But um yeah, uh once I started working on Unshackled, once I had a sense of this is what I want to do for the next year of my life, I know why I'm doing it and there is also potential for this to become a business i stopped worrying about money after that 